Good morning everyone, my name is Deborah. I am the founder and director of Cougar Cosmetics. I'm going to show you the difference between using definition on your eyes and not using definition on your eyes and you can tell the difference and see if it's something that you'd like to try. So to start, clean face, I'm using the age resistance foundation this morning. I've got the lid off, sorry. Um, I'm 2.0 light ivory beige so we'll just start by putting a few little blobs around and then I'm going to blend with a foundation brush this foundation brush is quite different to one you've probably seen so let's get in there just keep this nice and light for day and I'm going to use uh, a cream blush this morning because I know a lot of ladies are, um, are quite frightened by it because they don't know how to use it. Put on straight over the foundation before you powder. We're going to use this little domed cream blush brush. Our blush comes with a cream blush and two powder blush. So just dip into the cream we're going to sort of map out where we are going to place it on the cheek and then just blend. Keep this blush going in an upward motion. This keeps all our features going up, not down. Quick and easy. Now I can put more on if I wish, but I'm going to powder up and put a blush on anyway. Powder, <clears throat> nice fluffy brush. Using the Silken Veil Finishing Powder. Swirl it up into the brush. Pat in first. And swirl off any of the excess. Now we're going to put some powder blush. I'm using the Tapered Blush Brush. Start high on the cheek, up towards your ear, and blend down one finger's distance from your nose and swirl up. Keep that upward motion. You don't want the blush to go too far down the cheek either because that's also quite aging. So keeping this going upwards is anti-aging. Putting it just on the apples of the cheeks is not. In actual fact we want to use the shadow of the blush to create that illusion of everything going up. If you put blush down too low just take your foundation brush and blend it off. So we take the double-ended eyebrow brush it has a slanted tip and in the eyebrow kit you have wax, tinted wax, two powder shades and a highlighter. What I'm going to do is dip into the wax and create a shape by starting under the brow. Now I have no brows as you can see they're quite blonde and we need to emphasize these brows to bring youth back to the face as we lose color as we age, growth in our hair and skin and our lips as well. So we want to put some colour in the lips. So we're just creating this shape with the wax and I'm using the brunette today. I've filled in in the centre as well. Now I'm going to apply the powder and again create the shape underneath and the shape on top. I'm going to add a little bit to the front of the brow and we need to stop the brow at the edge of the nose and the edge of the eye there so where I've stopped. If you take that too far again you're going to drag your features down. I'll leave one so that you can see the difference. The highlighter I'm going to take the all over shader brush and place the highlighter tight up under the, the brow. 
You can also take this all over the eyelid if you wish. I'm going to put a little bit just in the corner of the eye. That's lightening and brightening. Now I'm going to give a wash of colour to the eye with the fluff brush, which is this brush here, soft fluffy brush, apricot shade for all over the lid and just wash it on. going to use the all over shader again to do a mid tone, just a mid brown sort of tone and I'm going to take it into the crease and into the edge here. I'm going to do the same over here and blend it. See how I'm stroking that like that, I'm blending it up into the highlighter. And I'm going to take the fluff brush again and blend it completely. Now, to emphasise the eye, I'm going to use the pencil brush, nice little fine tip. And this is used to place the product where you actually want it. So I'm going to go a much darker brown. I'm going to put it exactly where I want it. And you can put your finger here as a guide if you don't know what you're doing or you're unsure how far to go and just be aware not to put your eyeshadow out too far because if you put it out past the edges you're going to once again bring all those features down keep everything going upwards I'm just going to put a little bit of that under the lashes and I'm going to blend once again, we can stretch the eye out a little bit. Take your foundation brush, <coughs> clean up under here where the fallout was. It's always handy to put a tissue around there if you wish. Now, as I'm going up the outside edge here, I'm cleaning up and I'm taking everything up in that upward motion keeping it all within the eye area. It's very important as we're aging because it, it's probably a reason why a lot of women stop wearing eyeshadows because <clears throat> the way they used to do it when they were younger doesn't really suit them anymore. Now for those who are afraid of using uh, eyeliner, don't be because it's so easy to do. We have a cake eyeliner. It has a water well in one side. Let's take a couple of drops of water into the water well. <clears throat> Excuse my voice. Mix the brush into the water and into the powder to form a paste. Don't try and use it too wet. And if you do get it a bit too wet, just roll off onto a dry piece of the, the cake. Now, don't try and do the line all in one go. Start in the center. Don't try and start right at the tear duct and just lightly rest it on the lashes and then come from outside in to the center. And, and give a little stretch to the skin if you need to. I need to, because my eyes aren't what they used to be. And also another good thing to do is have a mirror on a stand with uh, magnification because I need glasses to read and I really can't see without the magnified mirror so do that don't try and hold it in your hand and putting your head back will drop your eyelids forward so you don't need to be you know one eye open one eye closed and at the end just give a tiny little flick upwards just that little flick. We're not doing wings, just a little flick. That gives that eye that upward look again. Just a little bit underneath. Use what you've got on your brush. Don't go back for more. That'll keep it softer looking. <clears throat> I've got a little bit too much fallout here. 
Okay, so you can see the difference already between this eye and this eye with the definition of the eyeliner and without the definition of the eyeliner. I'm going to turn on the mascara, the um, curling wand, I beg your pardon, and I'm going to coat the lashes with one coat of mascara, then I'm going to curl them and show you the difference again. If you wiggle the brush, you can get into the lashes a bit better. Always make sure you go to the root of the lash, and not just coating the ends, because that creates the length. And my lashes are very fair. And down the bottom, we are going to coat these again after we curl. Okay, this is ready. The little light has turned to this pale greeny yellow shade. So we just, as though we're using mascara, we just comb it through. Turn the wand as you go and light pressure at the end, kind of. And move it along the eye. You won't burn yourself, you won't burn your lashes, so don't, it's not that hot. Now I'm going to coat that again. So can you see the difference already between my eyes? The curled lashes, the definition of the line, uncurled lashes, no line. Now this will just make these look even better, because Curling them does take a little bit of the mascara off. Can you see what that has done? I'll just do another coat to be fair to this side. So there's the difference between the two. So, no eyebrow definition, no curled lashes, no eyeliner. Let me see the difference. So there we have it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If there's anything you'd like to know, if there's any topic that you'd like me to talk about or any tutorial that you'd like me to show you how, by all means please contact me and you can do that through our contact form on the website at www.cougarcosmetics.com.au. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you can join us again and thank you for your time. Bye now.